Once upon a time in Leipzig, Germany, a talented painter named Max Beckmann was born in 1884. He studied at the Academy of Weimar before moving to Berlin, where he joined the artistic group called the Secession, blending Impressionism and Expressionism. During World War I, Beckman embraced Expressionism more deeply, inspired by Otto Dix's expressive distortions. His paintings became angular and tumultuous, depicting distressing and violent themes reflecting the war's tragic atmosphere. When the Nazis took power in Germany, Beckman's art was condemned as degenerate, leading him to leave the country in 1937. He lived in Amsterdam for 10 years before moving to the United States, where he passed away in 1950. Amidst the rise of Nazism, Beckman's works often depicted scenes of everyday life with grotesque and mutilated bodies, foreshadowing the immense catastrophe the Nazis would cause. His art was influenced by Parisian culture and French painting, and in the later stages of his career, Beckman began emphasizing color, creating allegorical works inspired by Hieronymus Bosch. Tragically, Beckman suffered a fatal heart attack in 1950 in New York, where he was headed to an exhibition at the nearby Metropolitan Museum.